Hey guys, um, making a short video here. It's time to weep between the porch and the altar. I've been getting that anyhow from the Lord. <clears throat> um, at 5 a.m. February 6th, when he told me to put that message out, call a national day of prayer at 5 a.m. It's time to start praying, guys. Just look around the proofs in the pudding. Where'd you go to church today? Closed. Calling out the National Guard, maybe. I think that's true. Seems to be. <clears throat> Given the governor's charge of the National Guard, guys, which kind of part, part of it anyhow, but I would trust our governor. But I don't trust this Yahoo out in California that shut the whole country, the whole state down and told people to close their businesses a couple weeks and people will be like, okay, you know, they'll kind of weather it. It's June, come June, it's still shut down. And they have the authority to arrest you. It's a misdemeanor, but they could put you in some kind of detention camp. What do you, do you think they're going to just take you home? Where's it going to be? already a mess. They're grasping at the wind, guys, at straws, at nothing. <clears throat> Even this Congress talking about a trillion dollar, you know, everybody's going to get two checks or whatever. I don't know the facts and details of it. I don't even watch the news, but I just watch a little bit of it on the internet. I'm not even sure that I trust that anymore, but <clears throat> what am I going to do with a couple checks? Is that going to really cut it? You know, I know people in California that had big businesses that shut down. Well, their rent still do. Their buildings can't, you know, they still have to pay for everything. Other than the employees or they, you know, are they going to lose their employees, the good employees? If they, you know, shut down too long, people got to have a job. They're going <clears> to <throat> stock markets next, guys. They're going to shut it down to try to save the economy. They're grasping and grasping and grasping. I don't know where it's going to end because of the, the because of the natural issues. So if we don't get up and start praying between the weep, weeping between the porch and the altar, some of you big churches that got closed down or little churches or any churches, you know, if you're really a pastor, if you're really leading a flock or if you're just, you know, <clears throat> Time for you to get over your egos, get get on your knees, get a little neology and get rid of the theology. Let's win this from Jesus. Because that's where it's gonna be won, guys. In the prayer, and so the importance of it, I'm telling you guys, it's time for us to get up off of our butts as Christians and pray. Meet me tomorrow morning at five in the morning. You're not gonna meet me in my house, meet me in prayer you pray. I'm going to do it as often and as many days as I can. Some days I don't sleep in and not on purpose. I'm just exhausted because the Lord has me doing something. And it's like, man, God, you got me doing something you tell me is important. But <clears throat> kind of burning the candle at both ends. But okay, God, I'm on the wheel and I'm not going to get off the wheel. It's not really a complex story. It's just part of the journey that he's got me on. It's like, okay, God, I don't get it all, but I'm going to be obedient. But he told me to stop today, take some time and do the YouTube again, but he's giving me a March 1st, really gear up. Give me a city to go to over the 4th of July. But man, what if they have a travel ban and all that? So it's like, <clears throat> poof, kind of surreal. But at the same time, he's really, really pressing me to tell people the 5 a.m. prayer, the start of the day, is so important. And we got to get together, connect with the body, and it's a time of prayer every single day. Some of y'all are late night prayer warriors, and some of you all want to do 24-7 prayer and just various different things. And all that's great. And you should. And, and maybe that's all you can do. Maybe you might, while well, you still have a job, maybe you might have to be a late night prayer warrior or an early morning. But I'm telling you, if you can and you're available, get up at five in the morning and pray with us. And let's all do it. Tell me to put this out, that it's important. Put out February 6th, it kind of got sort of ignored, honestly. Not by me, but 
and I'm not blaming anybody or saying anything. Maybe people didn't even hear about it. I don't, you know, I don't know. I'm just telling you what he's telling me, guys. Because the importance of it is there's a, there is a storm coming. He even gave me a date, which I kind of out there. 8-11 to 9-11. The whole country was on fire. 100 foot high flames, guys. Give me three dreams. Four dreams about it. I haven't even got to them all. That's what I'm saying. You know, it's like, man, God, I got to get some of this stuff out. And some of these other things you told me to do. But it's like, but you got me to do this. And it's very time. And it's taking a lot of, lot of effort and time. And I won't be done with it till the end of April. I've gotten, made some really good headway in it, but it's like, man, God. But I've got a hundred testimonies in it, that things that happened in it that I can share with you that are really cool. I just kind of, you know, I feel like an overloaded circuit a little bit, but at the same time, it's like I'm not all stretched, but I've got a reason for it. And I'm just going to kind of stay in the wheel, and I'm like, God, I don't know all of it yet. I'm just going with the obedience because it's like every time I'm doing this stuff and days and this progresses, I'm like, God, what's next? God, what's next? God, what's next? Next step, next step. Give me direction. He's teaching me. He's guiding me. He's leading me. Molding me. And so I was like, man, I'm kind of in a, feel like I'm in a really good place and I don't want to move off the wheel. So, but he's telling me, he told me to get back on YouTube today and put out those messages, the Mega Mania one, the God of Convenience one, and now the prayer one, and there's another one, you know, but even that, like I said, that trillion dollar mess, it's, you know, guys, it's a trillion dollar lie. Sorry. Where's the money coming from? Air, they're gonna create money, reprint it, or I'm not an economist guy, I'm Larry the Cable Guy, and a lot of that stuff is just over the top of my brain. I don't have a grid for it. But my second grade math and common sense and the discernment of the Holy Ghost tells me there's something wrong here, something majorly wrong there. And there is, all it's gonna do is add to our debt. They never talk about paying it back or how they're gonna balance the budget or it's just spin, 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 buy, you know, bigger, greater. Call the National Guard. Man, guys, I put in one of my messages and I'm gonna end with this, you know, get a grip. And we're gonna get this, win this battle in prayer on our knees, weeping, crying, blowing snot. Crying out to God. Not some mealy mouth, Mickey Mouse prayer <clears throat> or with an audience so that everybody can see how, how great thou art. Sorry. You didn't have to email me, tell me, just pick up the 5 a.m. mantle. Get on your knees. Let's pray as his people at 5 a.m. start the day. Because when I do it at 5 a.m., to me, it's really good because A, I'm gonna be obedient to the Lord, but B, six, seven, whenever I'm done, eight sometimes, there's the day and I can start the day. And I'm fresh and I've gotten, you know, usually I've gotten the whole night's sleep been waking me up earlier than that sometimes when it's been it because broken sleep and it's man that's not good to me but I still do it but it's like hang on 5 a.m. like bam I slept the night through like a ba like a baby like a like a dog or a cat just peaceful I'm ready to go do what he has me to do be about my father's business for the day but we need to pray for our leaders, for our country, for this. Because it is Isaiah 27. It's a twisted up mess. I don't know who's, well, I do know who's feeding all these lies. The devil is behind it all. And God's allowing it for his purpose, but it could be for unto something greater. His purpose and his will. We may not, we may not even understand it all right. 
right now. I understand some of it, parts of it. Maybe you understand more of it than me. I don't know. Let clue me in if you need to or whatever, but the 5 a.m. I'm just going to be obedient. He's telling me, get it out there, guys. It's time to weep between the porch and the altar as his people. Because there is a storm coming, guys. The storm that's right now, and it's, it's pretty big, and it's like, man, it's just gotten worse and worse. It seems to be every day if you listen to the news, and I'm telling you, turn off the news and quit feeding, feeding that monkey, that demon. Turn it off and start the day out with prayer. And getting your mind in tune with him and his will and his purpose and his destiny and us taking a hold back of this land. Because in the one of the messages I put out there, there was three scriptures, Isaiah 17, um, one, through, one through eight, but all of it, really, and I, in Jeremiah 17, 1, 17, 1 through 8, and all of it, but then it, he, it ended with Psalms, and this is what he told me, he said, today is going to end just as suddenly as it started, and then he said, Psalms 1, 17, 1, so 1, 17 is kind of short, but it's all about praising the Lord, so let's start with prayer, and praising and thanking him, the victory that's going to come forth out of this for his people. If we let it go, guys, we don't we ignore this and we just kind of, man, we're going to kind of get what we get what we deserved, honestly. Which is a mess if we let it be. Or do we take charge of this in the Spirit, in the Holy Ghost? I take it out of the natural, I take it out of the realm of the political and the, the world and the, the, the grasping for, they can get, grasp for all the solutions they want. There isn't any to this. But Jesus, but God, but the Holy Ghost, but his word. I'm not going to cure it. Stop it. Quarantine isn't going to do anything add to the fire and keep destroying things. It's what the devil wants. So are we going to be part of that fearful pandemonium? That's why I said turn the news off, shut it off, quit feeding your mind this garbage and trash. Why are we eating all this trash and garbage? <clears throat> Even on the internet, man, have to be really careful. What are you letting into your spirit? so that you can pray, so that your mind not blocked and clouded and cluttered with, you know, hurrying up to pray so you can turn on the six o'clock news or get back to the internet and see which, con which governor shut down what. Guys, what are we gonna do when the Walmarts close and the power gets shut off? You gonna let that happen? Are, are we going to, you know, do what we're supposed to do, which is pray, seek God for direction, weep between the porch and the altar, and it's starting at five in the morning, guys, he's been real adamant about that, about me just, man, hammering this out, guys, getting this back out, February 6th is when he told me to do it, and I did, it's on YouTube, doing it to sensationalize anything. I'm just telling you, it was already, the warning was already there. Are we listening? Are we going to listen? Are we going to ignore it? I'm not. And you better not either. 5 a.m., guys. I'll meet you there. I may not see you. You may not see me. The Spirit will. The Holy Ghost will. Romans 8, 24. Start with that. God sees it, so love you. Um, just tune in, maybe or maybe not. I don't know, but just get up with me at 5 in the morning and pray. Tomorrow morning, I'll, I'll see you there.